Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to transform a photo of someone into a fabric patchwork portrait. Before we begin, I want to mention that I'll be moving a bit faster for more advanced users. I provided a fabric pattern preset that you can download and install. Its link is located in my video's description or project files below. Make sure Photoshop is closed before you install the fabric pattern preset. Then you can open Photoshop. I did a tutorial showing how to install presets, so if you're not sure how to install patterns, I provided the tutorial's link as well. Open a sharp photo of a face that you'd like to use for this project. It can be color or black and white. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. To ensure that the filters that we'll be adding will give you similar results as mine, we'll adjust your photo's size and resolution with the Crop tool. Make its width and height 870 pixels each and its resolution 150 pixels per inch. Crop your image around the face. Next, we'll separate our subject from its background by first making a selection around our subject. For this image, I'll use the Quick Selection tool with a radius of 10 pixels. Drag your cursor over the subject to select it. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to your subject. Make a new layer below it by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with white, but first, if your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since white is your background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Make the top layer active and convert it into a smart object so we can add filters to it non-destructively and adjust the filters at any time if we want to. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 5 pixels. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Black White. Click the Adjustment Layer icon again and this time click Posterize. Make the number of levels 4. Click the eyeball icon to temporarily hide the blur smart filter and control click or command click your subject to make a selection of its unblurred shape. Make the blur smart filter visible again. We'll make our visible image into a smart object by scrolling to the bottom of the layers panel and making the bottom layer active. Scroll to the top and shift click the top layer to make all the layers active. Then convert them into one smart object. With their unblurred selection still active, click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to our posterized subject. Make a new layer below it by control clicking or command clicking the new layer icon. Then fill it with white. Make the top layer active. We're going to create separate layers for each shade of our portrait. Open your Magic Wand tool. Reduce the tolerance to 1. And uncheck Anti-Alias and Contiguous. Click anywhere on the black tone to select the black areas. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the empty layer. Make the middle layer active, and this time, click your Magic Wand tool on the darkest gray tone. Make the top layer active, and click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. As before, 
click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask of this selection. To create the next tone, make your subject active and click the light gray tone. As before, make the top layer active, click the new layer icon and the layer mask icon. To create the lightest tone is a little trickier, but not difficult. First, make your subject active and click anywhere on a white area. To see why it's a bit trickier, press Q on your keyboard to make it into a quick mask. As you can see, the white area includes not just the lightest tone of the face, but also the background. To isolate just the white areas of the face, first press Q again to revert the quick mask back into a selection. Go to your subject's layer mask and press Control Shift Alt on Windows or Command Shift Option on a Mac. Now, when we press Q again, we can see that we've isolated just the white areas of the face. Repeat the same steps. Make the top layer active, click the new layer icon, and click the layer mask icon. Name the top layer Highlights, the next layer Light Midtones, the third layer Dark Midtones, and the last layer Shadows. We're ready to start adding the fabric patterns, but first, make sure you've already installed a fabric pattern preset. Scroll to the bottom and name the bottom layer Background. Click the FX icon and click Pattern Overlay. Open the flyout list and click the gear icon to open your list of pattern presets. Click the fabric preset that you'd like to use. When you see this message, click OK to replace your current patterns with the new fabric patterns. I'll click Fabric 1. Click Inner Glow. Click the color box and pick Black. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. Change the Blend Mode to Linear Burn and the Opacity to 20%. The Source is Edge, the Choke is 0%, and the Size is 20 pixels. Double-click on an empty area of the Posterized layer to open its Layer Style window. Click Outer Glow. Click the color box and pick black. Then press Enter or Return. The blend mode is Linear Burn, the opacity is 20%, and the size is 15 pixels. Make the Shadows layer active and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Double click it to open its layer style window. Click Pattern Overlay. Open your patterns and pick the darkest one to use for the shadows of your portrait, the Fabric 2. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Outer Bevel and the technique is Chisel Hard. The depth is 100% and the direction is Down. The size is 0 pixels and soften it 16 pixels. The angle is 120 degrees and the altitude is 30 degrees. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge and the color is white. The opacity is 85%. The shadow mode is Linear Burn. The color is black. And its opacity is 
Repeat the steps by making the next layer active and filling it with black. Double click it to open its layer style window and click Pattern Overlay. This time, pick a dark pattern to use for the dark midtones of your subject. I'll pick Denim Roses 1. Scroll to the top and make the light midtones layer active. Fill it with black. Double click it and click Pattern Overlay. Pick a medium or light toned pattern for the light midtones of your subject. I'll pick Canvas 2. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Outer Bevel and the technique is Chisel Hard. The size is 3 pixels and soften it 12 pixels. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge with an opacity of 50% and the shadow mode is Linear Burn and its opacity is 30%. Make the top layer active and fill it with black. Double click it to open its layer style window. Click Pattern Overlay and choose a light pattern to use for the highlights of your subject. I'm using Canvas 4. Click Bevel and Emboss. The style is Outer Bevel, the technique is Chisel Hard, and the depth is 100%. The direction is Down, the size is 1 pixel and soften it 6 pixels. The highlight mode is Linear Dodge with an opacity of 50%. The shadow mode is Linear Burn and its opacity is 30%. Click Inner Shadow. The blend mode is Multiply. The color is Black and the opacity is 30%. The distance is 3 pixels and the size is 8 pixels. Lastly, I'd like to brighten my overall portrait. If you'd like to do this as well, click the adjustment layer icon and click Levels. Drag the Input Highlight slider to the left until you're happy with its brightness. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.